Well, Cape Cod, this is the way we do it in Indiana today. Hope your pour's going pretty good for you. See you later, Grump. What we're doing here is we're setting great stakes. There's concrete. He's just like having bugs out there. You guys all know who Bugs is. Easy money. Sure makes it nice to have some good help, man. I know how you feel now, Ryan. Appreciate everybody watching that last video, the steps and the front wheelchair ramp that we poured. But today, today we gotta pour that patio. First off, we gotta go pick up the Georgia buggy. We gotta stop at the gas station, get some ice and some drinks, and we'll be on our way. We'll see you at the rental store, rental shop, whatever it's called. <laughs> we gotta get a bag of ice and a case of water. Dang. Got you guys it. ever drink these uh, body armors? They're pretty good stuff. Well, guys, I didn't have time to go downtown and pick up the uh, Hispanic crew, but we do got a reliable help coming in today. We got Big John B coming in. John's another contractor here on the in Henderson County. He's been good friends with my dad for years. And uh, he's a good guy. I know he's not gonna stand us up. We got my uncle. I know he's not gonna stand us up. So we should be good today. Anybody can drive a buggy. Well, not anybody, but my uncle's gonna be driving it for us today. It's supposed to be kind of hot today. Here we go. We're good to go. See you guys at the rental store. Just got to the rental, rental store, rental, that's it, rental store. Stop it. Get some help. We're just going to use their trailer today. How much extra is the trailer? 20. 20 bucks? Mm -hmm. Boy, that's sweet. I don't know why we don't always use their trailer. That's player. Right, excuse me. That's cheap. See, they got empty 100s, Bobcats. That's got to be way better than that dingo we rented. That dingo was kind of trash. I mean, it was okay, but... Oh, it's not? No, we can't use it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that one. Hey, that one's easy to move, though. Yeah. Two inch ball. All right, cool. got to the job guys I'm gonna go around here and get everything set up we got to hang plastic we got to put some expansion up and we got to cut a board to get the Georgia buggy in much should be here in about 45 minutes we are looking good should have a uh, plenty of help Austin did get a hold of me and I guess he had some issues his phone broke it's understandable he did have a whole different number so I get it Plus, he doesn't work for me full time. You guys, something. Look at the subgrade. Look how hard that is. That's a primary reinforcement right there, guys. My uncle. So, one person. John's here. Looks like we're going to be good. What we're doing here is we're setting a great stake. See how that screws right at the height of that string? Obviously, John's holding it at the height up there, and it's height on the form. So, that gives us a reference point. I want to get your bull float set up before the mud gets here. That's a must. 
get get three handles set on it before the truck gets there you don't want to have to be setting this up as the mud gets here you want to make sure you got two buckets of water ready before the truck gets there I say all that because man I've, I've done it the other ways I've done it where you don't have your bull float set up you don't have your bucket of water you don't have your plastic hung now I don't hang the plastic the night before or anything or the expansion because the heat can get to it and it can make it make it wavy and stuff but and the plastic can be blown down by the wind obviously so that's two things I, I try to do the day of but the more you can have ready before the truck gets there the better and always order an extra yard of concrete we got seven and a quarter for this job it only figures 6.07 so we should be good that's it guys we're 100 percent ready there's concrete You want to put some more water in that? Yeah. All right. Tell them to put five more in that. Five? Yeah. Hey, that's going to be in the shade. Go ahead and put it up there. Yeah, I'll put it down. It'll be in the shade for a long time. So like, it's only a quarter inch below the siding up here in this corner. Everywhere else it's a half inch. Did you hear me? It's only a quarter inch below yeah. the siding up there. Here he comes. get a piece of tape and put on that plastic that expansion might be a little bit high back there so if it is just go where you think it needs to be boss man just said that what's that spit yeah you can always cut it off i didn't i didn't have a line there so i'm putting this plastic up taping the bottom because that buggy's got a lot of exhaust and it makes a lot of wind and blows us up. And I hate it when I'm floating and it blows around and gets in your concrete. But it's always better to have plastic than not have plastic. Painter's plastic's pretty cheap compared to replacing siding. Oh, careful. He's gonna splatter a lot when he comes in on his next run. Yep. 
getting right here. Looking good. Looking good, boys. That's where you get your concrete burn at, guys. Let me show you. When you get stuff on the inside of your boot like that, so best thing you can do is just, even if you get your sock wet, get that stuff off you. Well, I guess we got a walk board, it doesn't matter. We can get back to it pretty easily. Are you ready? That over here. Put four in it! Four! <laughs> Alright, so you just heard me say put four in it. The reason being the concrete truck was on the road for about 45 minutes before it ever hit our job. And it's actually starting to dry up a little bit. And you also see that sun's poking out. We're about to where the, the sun is showing right now. So I thought it'd be a good idea just to go ahead and put that extra little bit of water in. It's not going to make it too wet, but it just gives us a little bit of time. I knew we'd be brooming this backwards, and that's exactly what we did. Is Where we finished pouring is what we broomed first. Do me a solid and hit that like button for me. Chill. Screws the one I pulled out over there. Right. Flip that over. Get started to hold it. You're gonna spit all your money over. No? All the way up. There you can see how it was getting a little bit stiff on us. Then what we did was we put that bulkhead in. That way we could turn and burn and just come right up it or come right down it, however you want to look at it. It's always best to pull parallel with your wall, and that's what we do with the short board. We brought it up there, and now John's pulling it parallel. My dad pulls down the plastic. He thought we had enough concrete in there, but we actually were a little bit short. So what you would think would be to go fill up the Georgia buggy again, right? No. That would make too many splatters. So what he does is he go gets the wheelbarrow while I'm bull floating the other direction. And he go gets the wheelbarrow and fills it up. 
and it took like two extra wheelbarrows so that wasn't too bad but if we would have got a buggy it would have splattered all that siding and then that's just a pain in the butt you always got to be thinking about these things when you got your own company when you're working for somebody you don't really have to think about it too much when i used to work for somebody i used to always try to look at a job and and basically act like it was my own and I cared about it just as much as my own. I understand that a lot of people don't care about the company they work for as much as they would if it was their own, but if you keep that mentality of of ha if caring about that company just as much as the boss cares about it, or almost just as much, it'll help you out in the long run and it'll prepare you for when you do do your side jobs or have your own company. Plus, you might get a pretty fat Christmas bonus, you never know. But here I am bull floating at the opposite direction up against the house. This is a must. Always, always do this. This is a must. So what we do is we push it all the way across, cross it out, but I always make sure to hit it the opposite way going up against the house, definitely. But it's always best to cross it out both ways. When you do like we do and saw cut most of your stuff, you can pretty much just bull float the heck out of it. And then all you got to do is crawl your walls or funny float your walls. But most of the time you'll have to crawl them. And that's exactly what we did on this one. Well, Cape Cod, this is the way we do it in Indiana today. <laughs> Hope your pour's going pretty good for you. See you later, Grump. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. John's floating the edge and edging it. I'm getting it nice and tight around this step. We got a walk board getting across here. So really, that'll be all I have to hit up with the knee boards is that little bit area. Don't want to end up burying you in that manhole. Be careful. Oh, you had a kneeboard. I thought you did like I did. And jumped out there on that wooden stake. All this is broomed. God's touching up around that uh, thing right there. Whatever that's called. What's that thing called? Window well. Window well. Or cross base. Cross base well access. So yeah. We usually just do like a half moon around anything like that. Makes it easier to broom. But he's got all this broomed. I crawled the whole thing. And uh, we're down to the shade. Down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah. You see that shade line over there? He's broomed into the shade. It's always best to do that. That way you can float out into your shade later and blend it a lot better don't ever leave it in the sun uh, where you got a broom shade lines are tricky I ain't gonna say there's no one way to do every shade line but they're tricky especially on stamp work yeah John's a good dude he's got his own company I remember back when I uh, worked for John on spring break when I was in high school he was a little bit chunkier and a lot younger he had his own company then but he's just as good as bugs he's just like having bugs out there you guys all know who bugs is sure makes it nice to have some good help man i know how you feel now ryan
There you go, boys. Easy money. All right, boys, that's how it turned out. Pretty nice. Come back in tomorrow on saw cut, clean up all our tools, clean up the steps, wash the siding off, power wash everything, make sure it's nice and clean, and we'll be completely done. We'll strip the rest of the forms. The stakes are all pulled. Should be a pretty easy day tomorrow, so uh, today was pretty easy. You know, some days are hard, some days are easy. You never know what you're gonna get, but if you plan for a plan right, it should be relatively easy i mean it'll be a lot easier than it will be hard good news is another job down another dollar made we'll catch you on the next one peace wisconsin dales say what's up to my buddy ryan from victory he's up there in wisconsin huh. milwaukee youtube